Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at quickly deploying an Apache PHP MySQL development environment in Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. First, we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. followed by another apt install to install docker, docker compose, and containerd. With the docker packages installed, we'll make sure the docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the docker group. Then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start creating containers. We'll start by creating a working directory structure to store the container's persistent data. Then we'll extract some files and folders from the Apache container so we can modify them for our dev environment. We'll make a copy of the default development PHP INI file, then enable the MySQL I extension. We'll set ownership of the working directory structure, then using docker run, we'll create a MariaDB database container followed by another docker run command to create the Apache web server with PHP support. Next, we'll execute a command against the Apache container to make sure the MySQL I extension is installed. Then we'll restart the Apache container for any changes to take effect. Next, we'll create a simple PHP info page to make sure our Apache web server with PHP support is working. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host colon 8080 slash phpinfo.php. To take our development environment one step further, we'll install phpMyAdmin. Back in the terminal, we'll use wget to download the latest release of phpMyAdmin. Then we'll create a directory for it in our web root and extract the downloaded archive to the new directory. We'll make a copy of the default config file Generate a random 16 character string with OpenSSL. Then edit the config file in nano. Copy the random string to your clipboard before executing the nano command. Paste the random string from your clipboard as the blowfish secret value. Then scroll down and set the host value to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host. Save the changes to the config file, then close out of nano. Back in the web browser, navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, colon 8080 slash phpMyAdmin. Log in with the username root and the password set in the MariaDB container. We now have a simple dev environment set up using Docker containers.